Hi there. Uh, the OBGYN, is that second floor? Yes. Great. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Eric. And Adam. <laughs> and today is McBaby Monday. McBaby Monday. It's McBaby Monday. Monday. Yay. So today was a big week because it was a little unexpected and we're not showing you Julie part two because this big thing happened and we just had to share it with all of you because it was really exciting. But yeah, sorry, we said that we might have part two for our interview, but this, it's gonna was, be next week. this was too good not to do this week because it blew, oh, we weren't expecting it, it blew our minds. Oh, <laughs> but uh, we heard our baby's heartbeats this for week. the first time ever. For the first time. Oh, and we're gonna show it to you. Yeah, uh, the whole we went down to San Diego, it was actually no, nope. oh, I went Eric, down to San yep. Diego. Um, it was our first uh, doctor's appointment with Corinne's OBGYN. She, it was, last week was our very last appointment at the San Diego Fertility Center, which was really sad. Um, and uh, it was yeah. our last, it was, the, the fertility center, the San Diego Fertility Center was like our second home for the past like, I yeah. don't even know, four months. So it's weird to like go to and a different doctor. it just kind of ended, like there was no like, Goodbye party. <laughs> Goodbye right? dinner. But it was weird. It was just kind of like, okay, and now we're passing you on to Kaiser. Like, oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, For some bye. reason, when we started it, I was like, oh, we're going to be with them the whole time, and they're going to like, we're going to deliver the baby in the same room that Corinne and Julie got their own. Well, I knew we weren't going to do that. But... Why well, did I? But, <laughs> but uh, it was really exciting. We got to meet the new doctor. He was really awesome, super informative, super educational, and he asked us a bunch of questions from, you know, uh, history to our history, to the egg donor's history, to, I can say, American to Julie's history. history. Um, not American history, no, no questions about that. Uh, <laughs> but um, it was just really exciting, and we, I went down there, and... Uh, I've stayed up here because I was a little sick, and our nephew has strep. strep, or had strep. And I was like, well, I'm kind of sick already. I don't want to get more sick. So I stayed up here. But Eric FaceTimed me mm, yeah. during the appointment. <laughs> and um, <laughs> yeah, and it was, uh, it was amazing. Yeah, and we weren't expecting it because we thought we were going to hear it a couple in a couple more weeks. But he was like, oh, yeah, we're going to hear it today. I was like, oh, really? Yeah. Um, yeah, when he said that, I was like, cool. um, no one told us this yeah. was happening before. But it was just such an awesome experience, as you'll see. I end up crying. Oh, uh, but uh, it was just, I think it was because it was kind of the first connection that we had with them and with the babies. And to me, it just made it more real than it has been, even though it has been real, just hearing them and have like some kind of another sensory connection with them, just, oh my gosh. And you hear those stories of people crying when they hear the heartbeat, and I didn't know what to expect. I didn't, you know, you, you don't know until you're there. And as soon as that heartbeat came, it was just like this flood of emotion to me. And I looked down at the phone and Adam had this huge grin on his face. You were smiling so big. Um, I'll never forget that. I wish I would have videotaped his reaction, but it was just, I just loved looking at you and seeing like you just ear to ear, big old grin and. Yeah, it's. um. You weren't tearing up, though, were you? Not at all, no. Yeah. My uh, tear ducts are all dried up because I was an overly emotional little child, so instead I eat my feelings, hence why I'm eating in every video. Anyways, so when I heard the heartbeats, I'm on FaceTime with Eric, and I think he's bawling his eyes out, and I'm like, wow, that was so powerful, because I was just like mesmerized by the heartbeat. But instead of ever crying about it or anything, when Eric came back, and he filmed the appointment. I just replayed the heartbeats over and over and kind of just like indulged in that. Um, 
So I show my feelings in a little bit different way, as we probably already know. Indulge, um, you mean, did you cry? Did you, Is point? indulge the right word? No, I just like submerged. Okay. There we go, I submerged myself in the video clip and just like, yeah, just because experiencing our twin babies in a whole different way for the first time was like... It was pretty awesome. It was really awesome. Yeah, because... And because now we videotaped it, we get to relive it whenever we want. And it's just... You'll see. You'll see. Here it is. Okay, so let me show you what we see. Okay. So first of all, this is your oh universe right here. Oh my gosh, you're so big. Oh wait, hold on. Let me switch you around. Yeah, you could certainly... Like you're still looking at me. Okay, now can you see okay? Because mm -hmm. he's got all this hardware. No, we're good. Oh my gosh. Okay. So these are the two pregnancies. The first thing I want you to notice is, do you see how this line between the sacs is really thick? Uh -huh. That's how you know that they're two separate pregnancies. Okay. Uh, from two different, uh, uh, probably two different eggs, okay? Uh, so we can see both babies. <gasps> uh, wow. And now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to listen to those hardware. okay? So, I can't tell who's twin A or twin B at. <laughs> so that her feet is in the 160s, which is small. Dang, that is powerful. <laughs> Um, your technology has gotten much more advanced since my children. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and that's baby B. That, that's the other babies. And you can see how it is about the same. It's from the 150s, okay? <laughs> that's so amazing. That's your cousins, Bella. I know. You can see both babies. Yeah, I see the heartbeat. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so everything looks perfect for me. That's so amazing that you can see. Wow. Um, this right here, and well, this right here is the yolk sac. It's supposed to be there. Okay. I think the yolk sac on this baby is there. Okay. That area of bleeding that was concerning is right there. See kind of okay. how it looks a little abnormal. It doesn't. It's not as big, so yeah. it's not yeah. going away, which is I'm good. I'm not worried about it at all. Okay. Um, and the yolk sacs will eventually absorb. They, they, yeah. They, essentially, they just. <laughs> Everything becomes so much bigger than the rest of it, than it, that they just kind of go away. So a couple other things. So head, body. You can see that's a hand right there. Um, you can see the two feet right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, so sorry, tiny. this is umbilical cord. That's a leg. And, no, that's a foot right there. Okay. And you can oh see that's gosh. one arm right there. And the other arm is right there. Baby. Cool, baby. Again, the head, the body, um, the yeah. arms are right there, and you can see the feet right there. Okay. Oh my god. So things look just fine. So that was our baby's heartbeats for the first time. Woo! So crazy. So crazy. So crazy to experience the babies in a whole different way. Yeah, like and wow. we got to share with you, so which is amazing. Yeah. That I mean, that's the real reason why we're doing all this, not only to show uh, our twins uh, in the future everything that we experience, getting them, and and our whole journey, but to share it with all of you. And the fact that we got to share that moment with all of you was pretty darn cool. So yeah. thank you for following along and continuing this journey with us. We're excited for next week for part two of Julie. Yeah. Uh, so sorry yeah. we skipped it, but hopefully this will make up for yeah. us <laughs> not doing Julie part two. But that'll be next week. Bring it, bring it. <laughs> Remember to subscribe and comment down below. Give us a thumbs up. Uh, share with your friends our journey. Uh, hopefully we can help others and inspire others and, you know, really show them exactly what it takes to do this whole process, which is so rewarding and, and exciting and amazing. And we're having twins, so we're already going to have a bigger family, so it's okay if you want to bring more people into this family. So just totally. like, yeah, join us. Totally. Oh, and in, hopefully in two weeks, we're going to be posting the video of our gender reveal. Oh, 
So that's what the plan is. Uh, we're gonna have our gender reveal party. And we want to share that part of it with all of you as well. So stay tuned. Um, yeah. Thanks again. We love you. So and much. we'll see you soon. Three. Three.